Hey guys, what's up? So, if you're getting the uh, B1352 OBD code, then uh, it's this door chime thing here. So this is a new new lock that I bought. To replace the lock, I have to rekey it too. I'll make it a video about how to rekey this thing, but um, see that little thing right there? That is the actual door chime, and what it does is it grounds out to the body of this device, and that's actually what sends the uh, power to the circuit, is the ground out. That, that little thing right there, you can see that right there. So when I put the key, when I take the key out, it goes down. When I put the key in, it goes up. And then somehow it attaches to the circuit, so I'm actually going to take out the uh, lock. You need to have the existing key, obviously, to take out your lock, but that's the little pin underneath the uh, dash that pops out. But I'll take out the existing one and I'll show you what's up. So, Alright, so I got the cylinder out. And it's pretty simple. You just stick the screwdriver in there. And you just basically wiggle it like that. See how it comes through? And it just basically hits the detent. You gotta hurt, turn it to the wrong position. And that basically is pushing down on that thing right there. The detent right there. And you can just pull it out. So, pretty basic because everybody doesn't know how to do that. But. I'm more concerned about that B code, that that door chime code, and that's actually the contact right, which I gotta fix it. Hopefully, you can see that in somewhere. But yeah, because I put the new one in there, and that didn't seem to work too. So I'm looking at there's a contact in there, and that's actually what I'm wondering about. Is this contact right here, and that's actually gonna be transferring the, the power over to here as it goes in there. So there's a contact in there, and I'm trying to figure out what's up with it. So I'm gonna take the bottom off and. Got a troubleshoot here. All right, guys. I don't know if you guys can see the. There's a wire in there. All right, so there it is. That's what fell off the back of the ignition switch. So the section normally wouldn't bother me, but it, it's, I think it's a, preventing my uh, tuner from going into programming mode because I keep on getting this error code that it doesn't like. It's trying to get me to clear the code. So, but it won't clear because every time I turn it back on, I get the code again. So. Alright, so the cause of the problem is this little tab coming off. That prevented the start of this thing from, uh, dropped it, but I'm gonna glue it back on there with some, uh, Gorilla Glue, and, uh, let's see what happens. Alright, so I used this little, uh, T-pin that I have, and I see I, I pulled that little tab forward. I got my needle in there, and I pulled the tab up a little bit. I wanted to get better contact, so. Alright, that little contact is gonna actually hit, um, that right there. That's what it touches right there. So. Alright, so there is actually a different mechanism here that also grounds out here, and that's this right here. So when you insert the key up, it lifts this plunger up, and then it creates contact between these two contact points right there. So that actually has to be in contact too. All right, guys, take a look. So it was a combination of my switch and that broken tab. So hopefully I'm not going to be getting that code anymore. All right. 